Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today I'm doing a quick video. I want to show you how to set up your new LG Stylo 2. Um, and to do this, um, first thing we're going to do, I like to get rid of the um, the wallpaper, especially if you, when you buy the phone like this, is a Metro phone, so it has the like Metro PCS background. Not very appealing, so I want to show you how to change that wallpaper to make it a little bit nicer. We can choose from the stock wallpapers that come with it, so go ahead and just hold down on the home screen. Tap on uh, home screen settings and then go down to wallpaper and then go to wallpaper gallery and then you've got a lot of nicer options like this is the one that's on the box and we keep going there's some other good ones this is one of my favorite ones so I want to go ahead and use this one and there we go now we have a nicer uh cleaner background that also really showcases the how beautiful and bright the screen is the next thing i want to do is i want to add a little clock widget just so i can see the time so hold down the screen again tap on widgets and right here under clock if we just hold down and we can just drag that right here and now we've got uh, a little clock and a nice uh, wallpaper on there and um a couple of other tweaks I like to do just right out of the box when I set it up. Um, swipe down from the top. I like to change the brightness to auto. Um, and this is something I really recommend. Obviously, it's sort of dimmed the, the brightness of the screen on the video here. So I'm going to turn it off just for now. But um, putting it on auto will help conserve uh, your battery power because when your screen is on 100%, your screen, um, basically the battery uses the majority of the, the power to, um, to basically brighten the screen up. So uh, if your screen is like 100% bright all the time, like it's sort of using unnecessary uh, power in my opinion. So if you put it on auto, the screen now is adjusting itself based on where you are. If you're outside, it's going to dim it. If you're in a room where there's not a lot of light, then it's going to brighten the screen up. So um, definitely recommend you make that tweak there. Um, and the last one is just going to be setting up the fingerprint. And uh, if we go to the upper right corner and go to the settings, actually there's two more. I'm going to show one more after this. Um, we're going to go to general. And we want to go down to fingerprints and security. And then under fingerprints, it will ask you to put in the, the pin that you set up with the phone. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. And so to set up the fingerprint, we're going to tap on add fingerprint. As you can see, I already set one up here. And this is kind of funny, but there's going to be a little piece of tape that's going to be on the back of your fingerprint sensor. So make sure you pull that piece of tape off first. If not, you won't be able to set up your fingerprint. And now we're just going to take the finger and just tap. Just keep tapping just like this. And um, it's going to read the different elements of your fingerprint, different parts. And when it's at 100%, it will let you know. There we go. And then you can also do add more if you just want to do one fingerprint, press OK. And there's our fingerprint. And the cool thing about, again, this fingerprint scanner, not all fingerprint scanners are like this, is if the screen is off, you don't have to turn the phone on first for it to read your fingerprint. You just put your finger on there and it just wakes up and just goes right into the phone. So that's really awesome there. The last tweak, again, really small, but I think it's important. If you swipe down from the top, um, so we have our little note, we have our different switches in the notification panel. And I like to adjust these because some of you guys may not use these, there might be other ones you like to use or have access to quicker because remember every time you swipe down they're right there so I say hit the little pin up here, or the little pencil and sort of adjust these based on um, what's more important to you. I always like to have the flashlight right up here um, just because you know our phones have become <laughs> our flashlights basically so it's nice to have access to that quick. Um, next is GPS because I like to turn my GPS on and off to sort of conserve battery as well. Um, then Bluetooth and then Wi-Fi and then the sound. Um, so that those are my top five and obviously 
press OK. Now when you swipe down, those are always the first five that you see. So I just like to adjust that just when I first set up any phone. And that's it guys, hope you did find this helpful. Um, in fact, you know what, let me add even one more. And this is again, depending on what carrier you have, you may or may not have this. Um, I like to hold down, go to widgets. Sorry guys, I keep remembering more things I wanted to show. Um, there is a widget for the hotspot. So hold down on that mobile hotspot. I like to drag that to my home screen and now it makes it easier for you to turn your phone into a mobile hotspot if you have a tablet or a computer and you want to use your phone's internet to um, you know, basically give that other device the internet. All you do is just tap on there and it will turn on your hotspot. Now the first time you tap, it is going to ask you to set it up. So. And obviously I don't have a SIM card in this phone, so it's not going to let me do it. But when you tap it the first time, it will take you to the section where you actually set that up. You give it a name and a password and all that good stuff. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, favorite, and share the video if it was helpful. Make sure you also subscribe to HG Tech videos. And check out our tips and tricks video, which is coming up, and our hidden features one as well. All right, take care, and as always, have a good one.